Hey y'all, it's Krista. Um, everyone has gone to bed, um, except my, well, my husband went to bed, but not my son. Um, but I am going to have to start this video out by giving a huge, huge thank you to Mina Villegas. Um, she gave me a huge shout out today and um, is just doing such an awesome job of promoting mix. And, you know, when you love a product, you uh, want to let the world know about it. And she's absolutely doing that. So Mina, uh, huge big thank you and big Texas hugs. Um, I love you, girl. And, um, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to repay you for that, but if I ever meet you and eventually I will, because I have to meet my, uh, business partner at some point, you all live so close together and I'm jealous of y'all, uh, being able to meet each other, but, um, I'll be out there eventually after all this COVID craziness is done and I'm going to get on a plane. I'm going to be out there and I owe you a great big huge hug and I thank you so much. Um, today I am going to do a straight pour and I'm going to use a bunch of leftover paints that I have. Um, Sometimes you just have to do that. You have to just say, you know what? I'm just gonna get rid of my paints today. So I'm gonna go around and I'm going to tilt this down to the canvas and we'll see what I'm up to today. Okay. So I had, I had a viewer say, can you get a stand that sits on the floor because every time I moved or put something down and, you know, it was making an earthquake. So I apologize for that, but um, it's not going to happen anymore because I have a new stand. Um, today I am going to use a Blick Premier. It's a museum profile, so it's two and three eighths canvas. That's a big canvas. I've already taped the back and put in my push pins. And I'm going to use my big silicone cup today because normally I would do 16 ounces, but because the sides are so deep, I'm going to need that extra amount. So I'm going to fill it right up to the top. All right. So what do I have left over over here? Um, I think I'm going to start the middle with some white. This is just my base white. And how I want to do it. You know what? I'm going to do it on the spot side. So I'll put in some white. I'll put in some silver and this is the deco art silver I know I didn't introduce my colors because they're my leftovers but they'll be in the description at the end uh, this is a Paraj Posse sleeping beauty shimmer and then I have some Carolina blue shimmer. And then copper. And that copper is in Amsterdam. And then I think I'm going to put in some permanent deep or permanent blue violet and this is in Amsterdam as well and then I'll use some fresh powder blue iridescent pearl 
This is a Paraj Posse. And some 24K. But on the other side of that 24K, I'm gonna put some white. So it doesn't get all crazy. Because it likes to spread and leave a sheen. And then I'm gonna use some deco art bronze. And I'm gonna put some white on top of that. Not a lot, just a little. And what haven't I used yet? I'm gonna use some Beach Retreat. This is a Parage Posse as well. I think I'm just gonna use that up. Let's scrape that out. And what else do I have here? Oh, let's use some of my Texas flag blue. This is a Modern Masters uh, Venetian blue. I have a bunch of this left over. So we'll use some of that. And then I think I'll go back to the silver. But I think I'm gonna use that blue as my flow extender. So, I'll be thinning that down. And I'll use the permanent blue-violet. And let's use the Sleeping Beauty again next to that. Oh, I'm gonna use the rest of that too, yay! Getting rid of paint. Because I'm the type of person, because I'm making mix, that I will have it sitting around forever and it'll get old and I'll end up needing to throw it out and I don't want to do that. Um, use some 24K. You know what? I'm gonna empty this one too. Three cups down. Um, oh, some white on top of that. And I am an extremely full cup. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. You know what? I'm gonna add a little bit of the cop copper or bronze. What should I do? Um, because the copper's fresh, I'm going to use the bronze, put the bronze on the top. Okay. And that cup is almost empty. All right, so since I'm not going to use the white as my base, I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to grab me some gloves. And we're going to put that Venetian blue down. And then I'll thin it down. And use it as my flow extender because I have a bunch of it left. Alright, so we're going to start with the Venetian blue. Super pretty. Set that over here. And bring up my water because I'm going to thin it down and we're going to pour so let's very carefully pick up this cup <laughs> all right straight pour here we go all right let's do this Let's 
I use my cup in so I can have that fine line. And I'm going to tilt my cup back so it'll stop the flow. And I'm going to catch it. Okay, awesome catch. Okay. Y'all, this new batch of mix, super awesome stuff. Okay. <coughs> so, I am going to thin down this Venetian blue just a little bit. I don't have a ton left in here, but I would hate to not use it because the color is super cool. Okay, leave that sitting there. We'll go around. Get this back and scrape my cup. All right, what else can I put on here that I got sitting over there as a floral extender? Because obviously I didn't have enough. I'll put that over there. Um, ooh. Oh, you know what? Let's use this copper. I'm going to thin it down a little bit. And remember, I put mix in my water so it conditions it a little bit. down and let's put a little bit around the edge up here. You can really use anything as a flow extender because it's just going to tilt off anyways. Okay. And I'm going to finish off this bronze in this corner. Because I can, right? There's another cup done. And I don't think that I need to do a lot of spreading today. But I'm just going to spread it out a little bit. Okay. All right. Bring it back over here because it seems to be falling a little bit. We're going to torch it. And again, never strikes on the first one. It's like it's mocking me. wanting to fall. What is it doing? 
All right, so I got some cool stripey cells going on over here. I got some sweet cells. They look like little eyeballs. And I got cool lacing up there. Ah, there's so much going on. All right, I'm gonna go off this way first. I've got a lot of white going on in there. I will definitely <clears throat> be tilting that off. Then we're gonna go down to this corner. Okay, stop that. Pull it back. Swing it around and go down to that corner. Okay. Then I'm gonna bring it back from there. I gotta get rid of that big white patch because oh my goodness there's way too much white but what it's doing is stretching out all the awesome stuff that is going on over here I'm actually taking my center all the way that way. Okay. And then we're gonna pull it back. And take it down this way a little bit so the white doesn't get all crazy. do with this? Do I want to bring my center back to the center? I don't think I do. I think I want to kind of take it this way. And then get rid of this corner down here because that corner is going to drive me crazy that it's white. I'm getting some cells on it, but I don't want that much white in that corner. Okay, that's good. Now we'll try bringing it back. A little bit of white in the corner with some cell action isn't gonna hurt my feelings. some corner issues obviously because this edge is so deep like oh my goodness but I'm gonna fix them I may go in with my cup fix that. Okay, I'm going to take my gloves off because I'm not going to fiddle anymore. I think I may take my cup because I've got cool stuff going on in there. So I think I'm going to take it on this corner. It's 
see if I can add some interest in this corner. Okay. And I think on this side, because it's mostly Carolina blue, I'm going to touch up my corners with it. And just enough to fix the sides. Okay, so I need it for another corner, side of a side. Let's see what I got going on over here. I need to get that corner. But I think I'm going to pour it. I think I'm just going to pour down this corner right here. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I have a gorgeous painting going on down here. Um, I'm going to bring you down so you can see what I'm looking at. All right. So we're going to start down here. <clears throat> Got some cool cells. The transparency. Oh my gosh. Look right here. I cannot wait for this to dry. Look at this cell right here. Look at these cells. They're like completely transparent. You can see straight through them. And then up here, too. Look at those little cells. They look like eyeballs. And then we'll go in over here. The cell action is awesome. I haven't even torched it yet. So pretty. Look over here. Are you kidding me, y'all? Look at that. So awesome. Every time I use mix, I, I surprise myself, <laughs> which is so silly. This action right in here, so awesome. Then I'll bring you up to this corner up here. Look at this cell, just right in the middle. I can't wait to torch this. I should have torched it. But I'm excited that hopefully all this white gets filled in with cool cells. All right, y'all. I thank y'all for watching and 